Cheers. Right. Welcome, welcome. Cheers. Thank you. Nice to welcome see you. Welcome to Happy Hour. Nice to see you. Welcome to Happy Hour. SIF TV right here in the lobby of the W. They're not giving you sole custody. Because you got a female because judge. Because that's why. I'm not Come taking on, man, her. I'm not taking her. They gave her to me. You had a very important role to fill. The role of a young, a young girl that was um, not tormented, but being completely torn apart by her parents arguing and bad marriage. You know, what she has that, that David and I were really looking for that is, I think, really special is, is a, she's got a, a quality that kind of lets you feel like you're experiencing what she's experiencing. You can put a camera on her in close up and just hold it there and watch her react to things. And because of the nature of this particular story, she's an observer of a lot and she doesn't have anyone to talk to about what's going on. Right. So to get inside of what that is for her, um, you really need a face. And, and we lucked out and found the yeah. girl with that and face. It's a big yeah. I mean, it, in a way, she has a big responsibility because she, she's in every scene. The whole movie's told from her perspective. So, you know, to be able to or not to be able to communicate so, so much with, with as few words as she's actually given would really, no matter what we did as directors, no matter how beautiful we made it, no matter how good the other actors were, the movie wouldn't work. This is my new stepfather. Hi. My father married my nanny, so Court made my mommy get married too. Remember time and a face that you get a bonus for making her fall in love with you. Uh, talk a little bit about what that was like working with Julianne Moore, who so many times will actually take a role not as dark, I think, and as, um, for less than a better word, mean and bitchy. angry. Yes, yes, <laughs> bitchy. Bitchy, that's the word I'm looking for. It was funny because you know, she's so nice and warm as a person, and coincidentally, the house we were shooting in, like the, the house that her character lives in, yes. um, is in the West Village in New York. And it's right just around the corner from Julianne Moore's actual house where she lives. Like we literally could look out the back window of, of our set and see her yard because they shared a fence. Because they shared a fence. <laughs> her How back fence that? was the same fence that was the back of our set. But so what we'd see then is like her being this terrible mother on our set. And then like she'd go home for lunch and have like, you know, eating tuna, fish sandwiches, eating tuna with sandwiches with her own daughter, <laughs> bring her daughter back over, like see this really nice interaction of her. You know, she's a wonderful mother. And then like, bye, kiss, kiss, you know, her daughter. And, yeah. <laughs> and then she'd like turn on the performance. But um, she was really something. So what are you two doing with my daughter? Looking after her while you're on tour. Things have been a little rough with her mother gone. So why Alexander? Of all the people that, you know, you could have right. put in this role, why, why did you go with Alexander? You know, he was he was suggested very early on, and to be completely honest, Scott and I didn't really know his work that well. We'd seen a little bit of True Blood, and um, Scott remembered him the little comedy bit he did in um, Zoolander, which is quite funny. That you know, that gas station, yes, you know, of yeah. <laughs> um, so, but mostly he plays tough, and you know that was actually we had a slight bit of anxiety about that because we needed, excuse me, we knew that Lincoln needed to be quite gentle. So when we met him, we were very very pleased to see what a kind of kind, gentle, soft-spoken, um, wonderful guy that he is. But we liked that. We liked his size. Mm -hmm. We liked his acting ability. We thought he and Onato would get along, and they did get along famously. And he came with some really good, strong ideas as well about, about his body. You know, he, he has a slight, he didn't want his body to be the body of a person who, like a super handsome guy who goes to the gym, he wanted to be the body of a guy who hung out with bands and, you know, played a guitar. And, and he really carried himself in a slightly different way, and we thought it really works, worked beautifully with the character. You really like him, don't you? I love him. There's nothing to say. You look like you're a little light there, fellas. I'm a little I, Look at, I got this stuff for you guys. Cheers. Are, cheers. 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 Thank you so much. All the luck in the world to you. What makes you new? Be curious.